A lot of the islands have also suffered from a lot of wildfires. So um, the pilots couldn't take off on many of the islands. There were a lot of delays. We arrived in Athens. The, the whole city is covered in thick black smoke. People are rushing um, through, the, you know, through the highways to try to escape. Um, the, the, where the major fire had hit, it's Rafina, and it's a very popular resort for pensioners with pensioners and camps filled with school children. So as you can imagine, um, making it very difficult for people to escape. Yeah, we've shown a picture of people just getting into an inflatable dinghy because, as you say, popular resorts at a time when schools are on holiday, lots of foreign tourists, lots of Greek tourists, and it's just difficult to get out of a situation where everybody seems to have been panicking, obviously, because the flames are coming towards them. Exactly. And you have to remember that a lot of these seaside resorts, the homes are not built properly. I mean, they're made with very, very cheap materials, which it can ignite very quickly, and a lot of the summer camps as well. So, I mean, it's a tinderbox right now. That's what's happening there. And also the fires, of course, affecting the infrastructure, which would be a means of escape. One major highway is closed because of the fires. Also, some train lines uh, are closed. Um, in terms of what Maria just said, with the years of austerity, a couple of days ago, there was a picture of the Acropolis with smoke behind that famous ancient structure. So should this possibly have been foreseen? Is, does it appear as if possibly the Greek government reacted too slowly and allowed these fires to become as destructive as they are right now? Basically, it's been a decade of constant fires. It seems like the government hasn't learned its lesson. A decade ago, there was a big major fire in the Western Peloponnese. Hundreds of people died, and the reaction was very, very slow. And it seems like every year it's the same situation. Ar arsonists set deliberate fires. There's not enough manpower to extinguish the flames. There's not enough rainfall every year in Greece, and there's strong winds during the summer. So it's a constant reaction that the government is just falling behind. It can't keep up.